This is not charging. You're lying to me. It is not attached to a charger. When it's blinking like that, it means it's recording. Is that so? Hey, we made it to our Airbnb. Boys in the ski chalet. And uh, it comes uh, pre-furnished with a mountain bike and footwear. And it comes a really sexy main surface. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, you're recording, you little. What? You're recording. It's PG rated now. No, it's not. I just. <laughs> okay. Getting a late start to get up to Bogus Basin, but it's been a really awesome time so far. This room, the bed, was so comfortable. I just didn't, I just discarded my early morning ride up at Bogus. And now we'll get up there, take a look at the vendors, and I'll be hitting the chairlift for a few runs today. And it's gonna be a hot one. All right, so just getting started my first run, almost towards one o'clock, but ready to go down. Just had a few minutes to chat with Kyle Warner uh, prior to my first uh, run getting up here. Thanks for the conversation, Kyle. I appreciate it. But uh, time to get this going. Before I get too far along on my footage of doing my two runs, I want to give you the backstory about what happened that weekend up to a certain point. Mrs. Captain Monroe and I make it a point to get to the Boise Mountain Bike Festival every year. We love seeing the vendors. We like talking with Kyle Warner and April Zastro, and we just like the whole atmosphere of the event. We had a great night's sleep at the Ski Boise Chalet off of Airbnb, and which is not too far from the main road going up to Bogus Basin. We got a late morning start as a result, and when I finally got up to the mountain, I did a couple of runs, and while I was having a good time, I wasn't having a great time. I wasn't particularly in sync, and I was wondering kind of what was going on with me. I would, Obviously grateful to be outside, grateful to be in Boise and up at Bogus, but something was wrong and I really couldn't explain it to you. I don't know if it was a bout of depression or being lonely or what. I just couldn't tell you at the time. In fact, I didn't even realize how bad things were in my head until something wonderful happened when I came into the chairlift line for my third run. Take a look. Yeah, I think you'll like this one a lot. Yeah? Right. Probably pick better lines than your grandmother, though. <laughs> well, I've never heard this before, so. Everybody got it! 
threw my chain. I keep throwing my chain. Oh, shoot. Even though I've got a chain retainer. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong on that. I had my clutch on this time for the first time ever. That's the second time that's happened. Yeah, just taking a look at that. Seems like no matter how fine fine tuned I get this, it still drops. It's just eh? still. Uh, oh, the chain's not very old. Huh. Uh, the bike and the drive system are four years old. You know what it is? That's Shimano drive frame. Probably. I need to go to SRAM, don't I? Completely it, joking. Uh, you know, worn drive frame that clutches probably. Well, it, you wouldn't believe the effort it took to find a new right rear shifter. Really? This week. No. After I broke mine last, uh, last week Friday. All right, let's finish the game. <sighs> While this channel is a mountain bike vlog, it is directed at men over 40 who love to mountain bike and who are dealing with issues such as depression, PTSD, and low testosterone. None of these issues should cause us to feel more alone than we already are, especially at mountain bike festivals themselves. To me, mountain bike festivals have always been a great opportunity to reach out to that solo rider and give them an invitation to join you. And usually, I'm the one that would reach out to that solo rider. But thankfully, Derek was there for me this time. What should you take away from this? Well, it didn't need to be Derek that did this. It could have been Kyle Warner. It could have been April Zastrow. It could have been you. The next time you notice a solo rider out on the trail, in a singles line at the chairlift or at a mountain bike festival, take the effort to reach out to them. You could be doing them a favor and getting them out of their own head, just like Derek did for me. On behalf of Mrs. Captain Monroe and myself, we want to extend our thanks and gratitude to SWIMBA, the organization responsible for putting together the Boise Mountain Bike Festival year after year. Kyle Warner, Derek Kidd, and Jeff Smith and the Pay It Bike Team, who all together made our experience at this year's Boise Mountain Bike Festival just that much more enjoyable. We really can't wait to see you all next year. Until our next ride, be free and good hunting. You've been on the captain's trail.